Mogadishu, the capital of Somalia, a country that has not seen peace for a decade. More than a million people are still displaced from their homes, and over a million others are still living as refugees in neighboring countries, mostly Kenya, Ethiopia and Yemen. Humanitarian access to most parts of this region is limited. This hampers humanitarian assistance and delivery. The United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees, Antonio Guterres, arrived in Mogadishu on July 9th to show his support to the fragile peace that every citizen is longing to see. He met staff from UNHCR's Mogadishu office and expressed his condolences for UN colleagues. Three weeks ago, there was a deadly attack on a UN compound, killing more than 15 people. UN staff were among the affected. He then met Parliamentary Speaker Mohamed Osman Jawari together with other senior government officials. Guterres expressed his solidarity with the people of Somalia as they start the holy month of Ramadan. The High Commissioner also met Deputy Prime Minister Fauzia Yusuf Adam. They discussed matters affecting the resettling of refugees in Somalia, among other issues. Ms. Adam highlighted the need to build new housing, health facilities and schools. This would encourage educated Somalis living in the diaspora to come back home and lift the country. We badly need good news from Somalia and we hope this good news will come and that uh, uh, in a few years time Somalis will no longer have to be refugees.